Go to YouTube, it's the Chris of Earth and Prophecy. And uh, if you're new to my channel, again, hit that like button, spaz on the notification bell. Uh, the Metal Ball has been, the Jello Ball, I should say, uh, one of the one of the brothers of the Paul brothers have been cut by the Pistons. Uh, you know, he wasn't really on the team. Um, you know, they just gave him a 10-day contract to see how he was going to perform. He didn't play any of the two expedition games against the Knicks. Um, you know, but, you know, I mean, I don't understand why people uh, find amusement of people's success. You know what I'm saying? Like, he made it, you know? After his father, after the media said, uh, oh, none of your brothers was, none of your, I should say, none of your sons was going to make it, the Miller Ball made it. The not I mean Lonzo made it. The Melo I mean the Melo made it. The Jello. He made it, but obviously he got obviously or, or, or fortunately he got cut. I thought he was gonna get cut like in the last preseason games, but there's only two games left. Um, you know somebody's gonna pick him up. You know, um, he's not gonna go. His his talent is not gonna get. I mean, his talent is not going to go to waste. Um, somebody's going to obviously pick him up. Uh, we said this, the same thing about Taco Fall, you know? Um, you know, like, who was going like who was gonna take a chance on Taco Fall in that draft? You know what I'm saying? Despite his size, despite his, in, you know, his health issue or his injury-prone issues, who was going to take a chance on them, on him? The Celtics did. You know, now obviously it's two different, it's two totally different situations. Um, but I believe Melo, the Jello Ball is going to get picked up by who? I don't know. I don't know. Um, you know, you know, possibly the Lakers, maybe the Clippers, you know what I'm saying? Um, but he's going to get picked up by somebody. Um, uh, you know, I mean, what is he? Uh, uh, I think he's a wing, right? He's a he's a small forward, power forward. Yeah, I think he's a small forward. Um, you know, but you know, it is what it is. You know, um, you know that's how the NBA works. You know, uh, you thought that you know some you know, you know you thought that a player that you knew was going to you know sh shine past everybody and you know you know shine. You know, he didn't even get any playing time. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's the messed up part about it. And then people want to, you know, clown and, and joke about it like it's, you know, funny. It's not funny. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, all his, I bet all his dream he wanted to be in the NBA. You know what I'm saying? I know that was my dream. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, obviously injury took a toll. And, you know, I guess, you know, I, I mean, God had other plans for me. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, you know, you never want to, you know, downgrade another person just because they didn't get, you know, just because they got waived. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm pretty sure you got fired in most of your jobs, but you don't be complaining to that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't be on social media bitching about, oh, F, you know, Subway for firing me at Pizza Crap, you know, company, stuff like that. You don't be doing that, but when a star or when a basketball player or a football player gets cut or traded you quickly to burn their damn jersey and and complain and whine and moan like you know you owe them anything they don't you don't owe them anything they don't owe you anything you know what i'm saying they're the fan they're the players you the fans you know what i'm saying you just sit there watch boo cheer go home and you do it all over again you know what i'm saying it's not like every time you 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 sit in those seats, you are rewarded a hundred dollars or two thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't work that way. You know what I'm saying? It's sports. You know. Pretty sure he's gonna get another opportunity. If not, then he can always go overseas. You know what I'm saying? Not a lot of them, not a lot of players in the NBA, college level, high school level make it. You know what I'm saying? Just because you're talented doesn't mean that 
you're going to get picked. I mean, you're going to get picked up, but chances are you're going to get cut. And I'm pretty sure the ones who did play collegiate level, high school level, college level, I'm pretty sure y'all didn't make it or y'all was going to make it. Um, you know, there was some players, there were some players in my school that made it. Terry, I mean, um, Cody Terrence. The defensive tackle for the Baltimore Ravens, y'all yeah, remember him? He actually, we actually went to the same school together. River, check it out. Riverdale High School, type in Cody Terrence, and you'll see him. You know, he went to the University of Alabama. You know what I'm saying? Who also, um, Sammy Watkins. Sammy Watkins actually went to the same school. Well, actually, I didn't get to see him because I believe that he graduated way before, but you type in Sammy Watkins, you know what I'm saying? Like he went to the University of Clemson, you know what I'm saying? So there is, there were, I mean, there is some high schoolers that went on to go pro, you know what I'm saying? Um, but, you know, as for, for basketball, it's a totally different lead, you know what I'm saying? You know, so, you know, he's going to get picked up. Um, so who, like I said, I don't know, you know, probably the Clippers, the Lakers, you know, teams that is in need of a, you know, small forward or not even even, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, who knows? And, you know, maybe the, you know, maybe the Pelicans or maybe, I mean, I don't know, but he's going to get picked up, you know? So, but people are going to still bash and still, you know, because that's, their mindset, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's who they are. You know what I'm saying? When things go bad, they quickly, you know, to laugh and ha, 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 and think it's all funny. But when it happens to them, it's not so funny, you know? Like, he's actually trying to make his dream come true. And y'all sitting here bashing the kid, like... <sighs> but anyways, uh, that's what I wanted to talk about. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you're a fan of Jello Ball, which I'm not, but I'm just saying, you know, like, come on, man. Like, have some sense, you know. Like, I know it's funny and, and all, but, you know, like I said, man, I, I'm, I believe his dream was to make it and to play in the NBA, you know. Now this kid shot is probably shattered. Now, now this kid dreams is probably shattered, you know, because he, he don't know if he'll ever find a job. He don't know if his agent will actually find a job for him. You know what I'm saying? And if so, we don't know if he's going to last until training camp. You know what I'm saying? So, because next Monday, I believe, it's the 20th. So, there are two games. We're two games. Not two games, but we're two days. Oh, no. Yeah. So, after next, no, next week, we're less than two days from the tip-off of the NBA playoff, um, NBA season. Will he be on the roster till then? So he, he basically has Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. He basically has seven days to find a team and convince them to not obviously cut him. But obviously it doesn't work that way. But, you know, maybe he just needs to work on his game a lot better. His shooting mechanics probably need to get a little bit better. It's his defense, you know, his, like anything he needs to do to get better, he needs to do it now till next week because NBA season is fast, appro fast approaching. You know what I'm saying? So, but like I said, if he doesn't, if he doesn't get an opportunity in NBA, there's always the overseas, you know, uh, you know, Stefan Marbury, you know, Won a championship overseas. You know what I'm saying? It's not the end of the world. You know what I'm saying? Like RJ Dad went overseas. You know? Couldn't make it to the NBA. Or I think he played in the NBA, but obviously he went overseas. He won a championship over there. You know what I'm saying? To the for the city for the city of France. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's not over, you know? So, you know, you never know. Like, comment, um, subscribe. Till next time, take care of yourself and each other.